Welcome to the Recompete Eligibility Mapping Tool. This map is meant to help communities easily identify whether they are eligible for the Recompete Pilot Program. Recompete Pilot Program applicants must be located in one of two eligible area types, local labor markets or local communities. The map displays eligibility status for both area types. In some cases, portions of an area might be eligible. The map shows those areas too. Let's take a tour of the map and its features. First, to launch the map, click here. There will be a pop-up box on the left that explains what the map displays. Applicants to the Recompete Pilot Program will need to generate and submit a report from this tool as part of their application. If you are applying, once the application is open, please see EDA's Recompete website for instructions on how to run a report. Click on the X to close the About pop-up box. You can always bring it back by clicking the About button at the bottom of the page. A box with the map layers is automatically shown. The map colors illustrate the eligibility status. The layers button in the upper right corner can also be used to open up the box. Within the box, you can select which layers are being displayed on the map. Green stripes are tribal lands and Pacific Ocean territories, all of which are fully eligible. While these count as LLMs, we have illustrated in a separate layer for ease of access. Yellow are local labor markets that are fully eligible. Dark blue are local communities that are fully eligible. Light blue are local communities that are partially eligible. If this is your community, Please reach out to your local economic development representative for more information on your geographic eligibility. Areas that are ineligible are shown as light gray, the same as the base map color. The legend button illustrates what the colors and stripes mean. The default view of the map shows the lower 48 states and a pop-up box with the list of available layers. You can zoom into an area using the zoom in button or using your mouse. There's also a search field at the top of the page that can be used to zoom to a county, city, or town, or a specific address. Clicking on the house button on the left will take you back to the default view or extent. Clicking on the Bookmarks button on the bottom right will bring up a box with links to Alaska, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, and the Pacific Ocean Territories. Clicking on the relevant link in the box will take you directly to the area of your choice. You can close that box if you don't need to access those areas by clicking on the X. Let's zoom into an area to get a closer look at the information available on the map. We recommend you zoom in because it'll make it easier to get to the pop-up boxes for the jurisdiction you're interested in. We can either use the zoom in button, use our mouse, or use the search feature. I'll use the search feature to take us to Huntsville, Texas. You can click on the map and a pop-up box will give you information specific to that area. Huntsville, Texas is located in a yellow local labor market, which indicates it's eligible. You can see that the pop-up box gives not only the eligibility status, but also the geography type, jurisdiction name, and state. You can also see that for local labor markets, the pop-up box will also give the information used to calculate the prime age employment gap and make the eligibility determination, total population, prime age population, 
prime age employment population, the prime age employment rate, and the prime age employment gap based on the national rate. If you zoom out just a bit, you can see that there's also an eligible and a partially eligible local community nearby. Let's explore those areas. When you click on Liberty County, which is dark blue, you'll see that the pop-up box shows information similar to that displayed for local labor markets with the addition of the median income. Next, I'll click on Harris County, which is shown as light blue, meaning it's partially eligible. The pop-up box confirms that and encourages us to contact the local economic development representative to learn more. Note that for partially eligible areas in light blue, you may need to click on a few different spots within the shaded area to bring up the right box. For example, depending on where you click here in Harris County, the information for the county or city may pop up first. In this instance, there are three pop-up boxes. The first shows the information for Harris County. When you click on the arrow, it'll take you to the next box, which shows that the city of Houston is also partially eligible. Clicking on the arrow again, the third pop-up box shows us that the metropolitan area that Houston and Harris County is in is not eligible. Let's go next to a tribal area. I'm going to go back to the full map view by clicking on the default extent button that has a house on it. Now I'm going to use the search bar to zoom into the Omaha Reservation in Nebraska. I'll click on the map to pull up the pop-up box for the reservation that shows this area is eligible. To find out more information on a community, you can also click on the Attribute Table button to open a table that lets you see the data from the pop-up boxes. The Attribute Table is automatically filtered to what is shown on the map, but that filter can be removed to access all of the data in the map. You can add filters and hide show columns. For instance, if you wanted the data for eligible areas in Texas, you could filter by state and then eligibility status. You can export this data to a CSV file, if you like, by clicking on the Options tab and selecting Export All to CSV. That's the end of our demonstration of the map and its features. Questions regarding the program can be sent via email to recompete at eda.gov.